Fresh glaze on the D-O. Okay, now we're... <laughs> now I'm able to be heard. Okay, so welcome to the stream, everyone. Um, I'm going to be talking about some useful DM tools today. Um, sorry about that earlier, you couldn't hear me. But what I was saying was... Um, Wizards has uh, Wizards has a lot of useful um, and unique products that come out fairly often, like the books and stuff. But the most useful thing, I think, is the Unearthed Arcana. And you can go get there by going to Articles, All Articles, and Unearthed Arcana on the main D&D uh, Wizards website. And all of the Unearthed Arcana is like the stuff that they're testing and publicly released so that they can maybe put them in future books or release them as their own separate, like, I don't know, archetypes or something uh, for different classes. But something like this, the most recent post, the cent uh, Centaurs and Minotaurs, um, is our new playable races. So the Centaur has uh, um, all of these traits here. So your strength score would increase by two and your wisdom increases by one. Um, charge is one of their abilities. If you move at least 20 feet straight toward a target then it, and hit it with a melee weapon attack on the same turn, you roll the weapon's damage dice twice and add them together. And you can only use this, abili use this ability um, once per short or long rest. So, stuff like that. Um, and then there's the Minotaur right down here. And the abilities uh, but things like this are a main reason why I like Unearthed Arcana is because you get to see the new stuff and it's it's really really cool and you get to help if you want to voice your opinion on how you like things um, then they have a way for you to contact them and let them know and they may take your um, input uh, into consideration but in addition to the main wizard's D&D website, some other useful tools are like the Dungeon Master's Guild. So this is it right here, this is the main page. Um, this is my favorite place to get adventures when I don't create my own because there are so many on this website. Um, you just click once, let's say if I wanted to get this thing, Fiddle Fiddlebender's Guide to Airships, say I wanted that you can come and you can pay the money it costs um, of course not everything costs on here like uh, the gunslinger uh, archetype from Matt Mercer is on here and the, his blood hunter class option um, is also on here um, and those are both pay what you want and you get them um, and this is just a really cool resource for a lot of things so what I like it for the most though is for the um, adventures that you can get so like what I have in my inventory right now in my library is a, a DM toolkit which is cool um, a whole uh, let me download this a whole um, adventure called the clockwork queen and it just gives you a PDF of the entire adventure and all of that and that's what this uh, website's built for is to provide adventures and D&D &D, uh, class options and player guides and all kinds of things on one location so that a lot of people can get access to it and a lot of the stuff you wouldn't actually think is on here I mean there's a lot of surprising things like uh, Wizards released a Magic the Gathering related adventure related to Exelon. I'll, I can show you that really quick once it downloads. But um, I have a ton of stuff like a DM screen thing you can print out and use as your DM screen. Um, this is the Exelon adventure. They kind of created a whole new pseudo game inside of a game since it's D&D &D and they the way you play it is a little weird, but uh, it works, I guess. And then there's a whole bunch of art. And down at the end, you have your 
little monster stats and at the end you have the player the pre-made player uh, things character sheets and they have all the art um, some hidden treasure things that you find in art to go with that and what it does maps things like that this is all provided in basically every adventure so really useful tool dmsguild.com um, also another one that you may have heard of thanks to Critical Role is D&D &D Beyond D&D &D Beyond is quite interesting I haven't actually gotten to know it too good yet but um, I'm getting better at what things do there's a lot of things to do on this website um, but like you can create campaigns and characters so like I created a campaign and invited one of my friends to it so you can in, you can view your campaign and have all your stuff all your notes here not that I have any yet but um, you can view their character sheets like so maybe if it loads there we go so Dragonil when he was level 5 in passive perception um, this was what his character sheet looked like basically but the thing is, is with this you have to buy the books to have access to all the new stuff so you have to buy the player's handbook the you know Xanathar's guide to uh, everything and now Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes in order to have access to all of that. Not that you need more than Canons, but um, if you were going with one of the Tiefling sub races in that book, then you would have to have that. But as a basic thing with like if you if you got the uh, player's handbook and stuff, I mean this is really, really useful and it will update itself as you go along. So if you take damage it'll and you mark it down it's a lot easier to keep track of how much hit points you have left and um, it keeps track of your inventory for you and your spells and everything and knows how much um, what abilities you've used and how many you have how many uses you have remaining like for instance Dragon Hill has key points because he's a monk he has five uses remaining um, and yeah, you have all this stuff at the top, his proficiency bonus, the armor class, and all of that. Just at the ready, so that you can use it at a moment's notice. That's what I like about D&D &D Beyond. Um, I do also like their, um, if you see in here, all of their, they have almost all of the books that have come out. There's a couple of things that they don't have, but they just released the, uh, I believe the Blood Hunter class on here from Matt Mercer and maybe the Gunslinger. I think they might have. Um, but yeah, those character options are now on here. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of things that D&D Beyond offers. Um, and if you're interested in this, there will um, there are a lot more resources you can go watch Critical Role or something and they'll talk about it, they'll explain it in maybe a little easier than I did, <laughs> a little better way, um, or just visit the site yourself and check it out because it's really cool. Um, yeah, so that's mainly the web-based stuff. So now I want to move on to a little, um, a new thing I found recently that I'm going to use for music. So let's move on to Sirenscape. This is one of the things that I'm really into right now. Sirenscape is a, a sort of a music, uh, it, not sort of, it is a music based um, player. It just, it, it creates, uh, it gives you a way to create your atmosphere with music and in the way you want on the left side here, once you have downloaded it, installed it, and everything, there are all kinds of genres of music that they've made, presets and and stuff. I mean, it just goes on and on and on for a lot of different things. Um, they also have custom slots where you can create your own stuff, um, and 
you can get access to more things on their website. I'll show you that in a second. But like what they have, for instance, is in this section, this Witchwood section, it's sort of a dark foresty um, thing. And you can click pre-made presets right here on the left right here. And it automatically turns things on and sets stuff to a certain level. Um, so you can possibly, you probably can't hear it, but let's see if I can turn this up. You can hear wind. And turn on the growls and stuff and those just have a little dial I don't know if you can see it moving right here but they'll cycle around then they'll go again so they'll just keep going and going and going makes it great for live play so you don't have to worry about it you can touch a preset and leave it if you want to and then things like like that for instance that crow will just pop up every so often and if you need something at the spur of the moment there's options all over here it's so like if you want weird distant noises then you push that button and of course this was has music too lots and lots of music this was just on a long delay that's why we didn't hear it till now but um, there's lots of crazy things to create your atmosphere and um, really make your game interesting and I'm I'm going to start using this more and more now that I have access to it and have learned a little bit more about it. Um, I think this is a great, great um, little player, little um, tool for DMs. Um, all these buttons are great. You can keep clicking them and something different comes up. Um, there's even stuff for, like you can see here, for all kinds of spells. So like, if someone casted a lightning spell. There's a lightning spell thing. Um, same thing for a uh, charm. It might be a little loud. Sorry. Not that. I'll turn this down a little bit. But... I think you get the point. There's a lot of things that are useful in here um, to, at a moment's notice, turn on. Um, and I don't have access to all of these different genres, but another one that I have is a, a battle thing. So if you click a preset on this one, it starts a sort of battle scene. And it has a lot of battle cries and a lot of uh, sword hitting together sounds and shields and all kinds of things and if you want to stop it instantly push this pause button and it goes quiet right so just yeah very 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 useful um, thing you can even come in here and make your own little presets um, so that you can have your own things set up for a certain game if you don't want to have have to be switching between different genres the whole time you know um, but that's basically Sirenscape I'll show you their website now so their website let me go back to this screen their website if you go to their store up here it's just sirenscape.com slash store or to sciencecape.com and click on store here. They have subscriptions you can buy if you want. And it gives you access to even more libraries. So this Super Siren subscription, $10.99 a month. Um, and they charge it $21.98 every two months. Gives you the entire fantasy library and the entire sci-fi library. And the Sirenscape creator. Which I believe help, lets you make your own um, sound effects and stuff. Um and even the board game library on your phone which is also a good point to note this is uh, this app altogether or this program is also on uh, 
the iTunes store and I believe the Google Play store so that everyone can have access to it and it's completely mobile and you can use it everywhere in home games and away games all of that um, so that's Sirenscape I really really am looking forward to getting into this um, but the last thing I think I want to tackle today is a little program called Dungeonographer and let me switch over to that so Dungeonographer as you see here um, is a map building software so you start with a little um, maybe I can bring it up here let me see you see it no you can't um, let me quickly add this so you can there that little this little box here um, you can choose what size your squares are and and the width and everything and then what terrain you want if you want a random dungeon you click that um, you can load other maps that have been created uh, by importing them and and stuff once you get all that you click generate map and it'll either make a map or if you choose just whatever width and, and height your tiles are in sizes um, actually I don't want to quit that I'll just move this and get rid of this thing there so once you do all that you get this screen where you start to get access to drawing your own dungeons um, so like you go to custom lines over here and click new line right or maybe not come on yeah click which line you want new line draw out a line right not that this would be a dungeon but it could be um, there's ways of having like anchor points so you don't have to physically draw things you can follow the lines and stuff if your free handing isn't so good but that's basically it um, with the lines and then they have options to make shapes Polygon, like so I, that's a weird shape but you get the point <laughs> and then they have text or already pre-made text like stylized text custom text map items which don't look the best but you can tell some at least what some of them are you can get a basic mark uh, down like a stairwell couch or whatever it's just basically a stamp so that you know what it is what each little thing is and to mark what's in each room and everything the doors secret entrances tables chairs you know all you name it um altars so that's over here oh i forgot to show you where i started the floor tiles you can make your dungeon floor look however you want right in here is the stylized lines and walls this is where you can take a wall and this is where you draw a straight line like that and it's like a pen tool in Photoshop or Illustrator if you've ever used that it just makes uh, lines a little easier and um, let's move over to a open area and up here you have your configure tiles tab so you can configure every tile to be a certain way make sure everything's how you want it to look you can do the same for your lines and text to make change your font and if it's bold or not the width the size all of that um, and same thing with your lines and the numbering if you ever have numbering in your in your map but this I found this to be one of the best uh, map building softwares 
Um, there's also another one called Hexographer that might be a little easier to understand, but this one I think has um, um, a lot more basic tools to get you into map building and then move on to something like Hexographer where it's a little more complex to um, uh, understand and, and work with. But, um, yeah, I think that's it for this live stream, guys. I just wanted to do it, and it's kind of short. But, uh, I wanted to, uh, go through some of my favorite D&D, um, uh, tools for everyone to use. Um, but out of everything I've said, my favorite has to be the DM's Guild. Because just the amount of content on here is just incredible. Like, eh, let's go to the main main page. There we go. There's just m so many different things on here that you can buy or get for free or whatever. Um, also, another useful thing is, uh, let's see if I can go to it right now. Um, another YouTuber. Another YouTuber called Dunforgecast. His website is also a very useful place to go if you need DM stuff. Like, um, there's... He has Ask a DM episodes. He has, um, live streams that he does fairly often. Um, like, Ask a DM videos. Like, right here takes you to his playlist where he's done so many things about being a DM. People ask him questions and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, he also has two... Let's go to the marketplace real quick. He also has um, two classes right here. And also on his um, YouTube page, he has another one that they just barely came out with. Not, not even a couple weeks ago, I believe. And... Um, these classes are amazing, and you can get both of these in this 5e or Forge thing, but, um, he's just got a lot of great content, a lot of great information that you, that helps so many, uh, Dungeon Masters, um, and I think it would be good for everyone to look at. Um, also he has reviews on the books that come out, and he's also got reviews on, full in-depth reviews on... Matt Mercer's classes that he's came up with, like the new one's Lingering Soul, and I forget what the brand new thing was that he came out with. I think it might... I can't remember, but it might have been the Lingering Soul. It might not be a new one, but I don't know. Um, but just so much useful information. And another uh, thing to possibly look at, if you guys are interested, is the... Uh, Critical Role, because they play D&D &D every week, and that is by far the best D&D um, &D show on YouTube, or anywhere really, because it's just so entertaining, and you get so much out of it, and Matt really is a great DM. Another thing is uh, Acquisitions Incorporated, ran by Chris Perkins, and that is a really fun one too. That's more... Um, more fun than anything. Um, if you want the story, go to Critical Role, I believe. It has better story than um, Acquisitions, uh, Acquisitions... Oh my gosh, I can't even say it. Acquisitions Incorporated. There we go. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm about out of information, guys. But thank you all for watching and staying with me for this live stream. This short, very, very, very short live stream. But, um... Yeah, we'll be back pretty soon with some more D&D stuff um, and more magic stuff and things in the future. Um, so if you want to follow us and see what's coming up, make sure you subscribe and follow us on Twitter at the Real Jack UG. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.